Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Today is explanation of Swallowed Star episode number 157 based on novel. So let's start. When the hundred-man team of the Yu family madly fled, the leader of the Thirteen Axe, his blood-red eyes flashed with violence and he shouted, kill all of them, don't spare even a single one. Ha ha, understood. They can't get away. Ninth and thirteenth brother, it's up to you too. Including their leader, the thirteen axes swiftly became a blur and chased down the stronger fleeing members of the family. The two black armored men laughed manically as they extended their arms. Immediately, blurry beams of light shot in all directions. When Luo Feng was a student level nine, he could already control ten flying blades. As for now, if he didn't require strength, he could control thousands of little golden blades easily. Of course, if he required strength, he could only control about ten. These two star level pinnacle warriors both immediately shot out one hundred little thin flying axe like assassination weapons. Each of them were about half the size of a palm and one millimeter in thickness. A blur of flying axe assassination weapons covered the skies and shot in all directions. Ah? No. Quick. The large number of warriors fleeing all immediately went mad, as their surrounding comrades were being sliced through their heads by the flying axes. As they pierced right through, fresh blood spewed everywhere with brain matter and heads falling all over. In an instant, the entire canyon was stained red, almost like a nightmare scene. The large group of ground-level star traveler were simply massacred. In a few seconds, the entire Yu family in the canyon had less than 20 people left. My god. The black-bearded old man was paralyzed on the ground. His face was stained with the blood of others, and his eyes were staring wide-eyed. A little flying axe weapon, as thin as a cicada's wing left a dazzling silhouette in mid-air and later pierced through the old bearded man's head, almost like slicing tofu. There's nothing. It isn't here. This old bastard's has a space wristband. However, it doesn't have the armor we want. From the thirteen axe, the two who controlled the attacks swiftly checked the important bodies. Among them, they found only one space item, however it didn't have the item they wanted. The ones who fled are the most important, those ten have fled from the canyon. No worries, Big Brother is chasing them. He's caught up. The two became a beam of light and swiftly caught up with crowd. On the wide road, about ten people were fleeing as hard as they could. Quickly. Quickly. Their faces were filled with fear especially the center-tall and handsome young master Yu Fang. His face was ashen. He was extremely nervous and communicated worriedly, third uncle, third uncle, carry me and flee, bring me along with you. However the strongest among the group, third uncle Yu Yang Ta had long fled far away, not caring about him. Ha ha, you think you can run? In the distance a gold-armored demon god tore through the skies and caught up. His laughter resounded loudly within the ears of the ten of them who were fleeing. Behind this gold-armored silhouette, there was one more who was swiftly flying over. Go and die. The gold-armored demon god's silhouette dived down and simultaneously the genetic energy of the cloud level, universe level, smashed into the ground fiercely. A ripple started to spread in all directions, exploding within the 100m area. A universe level's genetic energy, with its terrifying strength, had reduced the surroundings to nothing but waste. Screams of pain and shriek sounds could be heard in the air. No, no, no. Yu Fang howled in fear. However, his body seemed to be hit by countless assassination weapons, immediately becoming like a sieve. Even his head had rubble piercing through, after which it exploded and left nothing but a mess. Young Master Yu Fang was dead. N.A. Ku. Before dying, Yu Fang stared wide eyed. He had hoped so badly that he would be able to reach N.A. Ku's team. At least with that being there, he stood a chance of survival. However, it was a pity that his speed was too slow. At this time, there was only one person left in the fleeing Yu Fang family. It was one of the three strongest in the family, reaching the pinnacle of sky level. Dripping blood Yu Yang Ta. Even within the thirteen acts, he would be ranked about fourth or fifth in strength. He had fled along the road from the beginning with the highest speed he could muster. He didn't care about Yu Fang. Because he knew, if he lost that armor, the Yu family in the city would be done for two. Back then I shouldn't have agreed, the treasure within the ancient god ruins isn't something our Yu family can take. I hate the fact that we were too greedy, simply too greedy. 
while flying as fast as he could he cursed within. Back then, when the Yu family saw the benefits from success, their greed exceeded their fear. Hence, they decided to gamble this time. Yes, this was a gamble. Ha ha, dripping blood, you still wish to flee. A voice immediately reached Yu Yang Ta's ears. Yu Yang Ta looked back. In the distance a gold silhouette was rushing over, causing Yu Yang Ta's expression to grow even uglier. Amongst the thirteen acts, the head, number three and seven were the three he least wanted to meet. This was because these three were cloud level, universe level, the other seven he still had enough confidence he could beat. N.A. Ku. N.A. Ku. Yu Yang Ta fought hard to increase his speed, staring into the distance. Suddenly there stood a ten-man team, of which there was the familiar silver-armored youth N.A. Ku. This caused Yu Yang Ta's eyes to immediately glow with hope. As his face flushed red, he roared loudly, Young Master N.A. Ku, save me. Luo Feng and that team had distanced themselves close to 200 kilometers from the Yu Fang family team, and Yu Yang Ta was after all just a pinnacle star level. Even though Blood River World's gravity was so strong that a star traveler couldn't fly, however Yu Yang Ta's speed could still reach up to 8 kilometers a second. If it were in space without gravity, a star level pinnacle could reach up to 150 kilometers per second. The gravity of Blood River World was shocking, and because of that Yu Yang Ta's speed could only reach 8 km per second. Close to 200 km in distance, he had flown for 10 seconds. In just 10 seconds, the large Yu family team was decimated. Young Master N.A. Ku, save me. A roar filled with genetic energy immediately resounded in the surrounding land and skies, causing the team that was rushing back, Luo Feng and N.A. Ku, and his group to be stunned. They turned their head to look over. In the distance, two silhouettes were approaching. One ahead of the other, they were swiftly heading towards their team. Especially the golden silhouette behind, had long released his large aura all about. It's Yu Yang Ta, and behind him is the leader of the Thirteen Acts. The tall and sturdy thunder uncle deduced from a look. Revealing fear, he communicated, Everybody listen up, do not ever mess with the leader of the Thirteen Acts. Young Master N.A. Ku, don't ever go help Yu Yang Ta. We cannot help him. Rather, it would be suicide to help him at this point. N.A. Ku's face too was pale. Leader of the Thirteen Acts. Within Swallow Mound's 10 million kilometers area, this was definitely a person that was highly reputable and deserving of respect. Save me. The skinny man, Yu Yang Ta's face was filled with fear as he rushed towards N.A. Ku's team. However N.A. Ku's team stood there not even moving. Obviously they didn't wish to intervene. Rumble. From behind a terrifying energy wave ripple over. Not good. Yu Yang Ta looked behind, that gold armored demon god wielding an axe had already waved it and was slashing towards him. The huge axe swing had formed a high pressure ripple, a slash ripple visible to the naked eye was rushing towards him, causing Yu Yang Ta's eyes to flush red, as he waved his blade hard to stop it. Dang. Yu Yang Ta was knocked onto the ground from the ripple. His entire body was shaken so hard his bones were broken. Yu Yang Ta stared wide-eyed, blood leaking from his mouth, following which his head fell and there was no more sense of life. Rumble. In the distance two silhouettes landed. Big brother, did you find the item? The too tall and sturdy man shouted. It should be on him. The leader looked at Yu Yang Ta's corpse on the ground and immediately grabbed his arm. He turned back to look at his brother's, third and seventh brother, it's a space wristband. The two who had just massacred everybody else looked as their eyes gleamed. Luo Feng and N.A. Ku's little team stood there, not daring to move or flee. It's exactly like what the information depicted. Blood River World favors the strong. Massacres can be seen everywhere, even punks with high statuses are killed just like that. Luo Feng glanced at the distant Yu Yang Ta's corpse, shaking his head quietly. At this time, silhouettes continued to appear from mid-air. The thirteen acts have arrived. The tall and sturdy Thunder Uncle's eyes were filled with shock. Thirteen acts. The legendary Thirteen Axe. The silver-armored N.A. Ku's eyes had a sense of both excitement and nervousness. These were legendary figures, killing the powerful team from the Yu Fang family was simply like killing chicken. These were the true strong warriors. Absolute warriors. The not-too-distant leader of the Thirteen Axe frowned, why isn't it here? What, it's not there? Big brother, the space wristband doesn't have the armor. Have you all checked everybody else? The leader looked at his brothers. The other twelve all replied, they don't have it, we've all checked. Only one person had a space item, and it didn't have the armor we want. Just now that dripping blood was calling for them to save him. 
The leader in the gold armor said as his blood-red eyes looked at the distant group, causing N.A. Ku and his group to immediately feel fear. The leader frowned, they may be the same group with the Yu family, only separated into the early and later groups. Big brother, we'll kill and then look. Why think so much about it? The leader nodded, kill them. To the thirteen acts, killing a bunch of rich family teams in Swallow Mound was simply like stepping on ants, that simple. In the continent of Blood River, it didn't matter where you stood or what you had, if one had a big fist, that was the law. We have no relationship with the Yu family, don't kill us. Spare us. Including that tall and sturdy thunder uncle, the group of guards all looked fearful. Even the simple and full of fighting spirit youth N.A. Ku looked fearful and shocked. So troublesome. Luo Feng shook his head. There's three universe levels in this group. I cannot simply just pressure them with consciousness. I will have to personally make a move. The information was right. There are many times in Blood River World where one cannot help, but have to kill others. Rumble. The thirteen Axe group were initially just staring coldly at N.A. Ku's group. However one of them was just about to unleash his assassination weapons. When all of a sudden, the thirteen of them revealed a look of fear, because in an instant, before the thirteen of them, one silhouette appeared, a black-haired youth in black armor. Thirteen images simultaneously appeared before the thirteen of them. How's that possible? Including the powerful leader of the thirteen acts, the thirteen of them stared with fear, because the opponent's appearance was simply too strange. It was fast to the point of teleportation. However even in fear, they all struggled hard to use their weapons. Thirteen images, thirteen Luo Fong. Luo Feng's eyes grew cold, his gaze was like a blade, thirteen images, all looking at the thirteen members. His blade flashed. Thirteen extremely beautiful flashes, infused with immense hatred. N.A. Ku and his group who were witnessing this scene, including the thirteen acts who were being attacked, couldn't help but get affected by the blade work. Their consciousness was getting enticed into the blade work itself. Thirteen flashes of the blade like surgical blades followed the outline of their helmets immediately entering within and retracting. The continuous floating thirteen flashes flashed and vanished. The images vanished too, and Luo Feng placed his blood-red illusionary blade back in its sheath, which was on his back. Silence. The thirteen warriors stood there, motionless. The pure and innocent Eneku, Thunder Uncle, along with the group of guards were all still immersed within the blade work. Luo Feng couldn't help, but shoot them a glance with a slight pressure from his consciousness, causing the completely immersed punks to awaken from the shock. All of them took a while to comprehend what just happened. Why are the thirteen acts all standing there motionless? My eyes weren't deceiving me before right, I saw, a guard said, clearly still stunned. Shut up. The tall and sturdy thunder uncle communicated angrily. The guard immediately awoken. Dead, the thirteen acts are dead. The tall and sturdy thunder uncle communicated. Can't you see from the thirteen armors and helmets traces of blood dripping down? Since you all still have some bit of strength, can't you sense that there's no energy coming from them at all? It's true, there are blood stains. No energy at all. My god, I, didn't see wrongly did I? That stupid one called Foam, know that powerful black armored guy casually made a move and simultaneously killed thirteen people, and the thirteen acts actually couldn't even retaliate. I just saw thirteen black armored warriors simultaneously slashing, the blade work was simply captivating. The group of guards were completely subdued. Blood River World favored strength. And the blade work that captivated them made them tremor within. I was really stupid, so stupid. The tall and sturdy thunder uncle's body was trembling slightly. The first time I saw this absolute warrior, he wasn't standing there stupidly looking at the mangu beast. He didn't even think of the beast as an opponent. Even the thirteen acts with three cloud levels, they couldn't even retaliate and were all killed. Much less the mangu beast. That group of bastards still said he was stupid, obviously it's purely us who are stupid. Right, before when the Yu family and troops wanted to humiliate our young master, they were all scared away. It was definitely him who helped us. Without revealing a trace, he scared away people like dripping blood until they all fled. That's a true warrior, absolute warrior. The silver-armored N.A. Ku's gaze at Luo Feng was filled with burning madness. Absolute warrior. A true warrior. Absolute warrior. N.A. Ku muttered. The thirteen acts easily killed someone like Yu Yang Ta. And he was a legendary warrior, however Big Brother Fong actually killed the thirteen acts, with them unable to even make a move. And they are still standing there motionless, like they didn't even do anything. This, what kind of strength is this? Young master, this is a true absolute warrior. The training hermit. Thunder Uncle's face was excited, communicating, his impression is not bad. You go hurry and get close to him, to be on good terms with such an absolute warrior, 
is most important for our NA family. Don't bother me. NA Ku didn't care about anything about the NA family at the moment. All he felt at this time was excitement. The excitement from meeting a legendary idol. NA Ku was nervous within, however he grit his teeth and walked towards Luo Feng. After killing the 13 axe, Luo Feng couldn't be bothered with the stunned guards. He was using his spirit energy to scan over the bodies of the 13 axe along with Yu Yang Ta. These 13 axe are wealthy, every one of them has a space item. Luo Feng's scan had confirmed. Controlling his spirit energy be it space bracelets to wristbands, arm guards, space belts, he took all the items from their bodies and kept them within his space ring. Let's see what's in them. Luo Feng flipped his hand and retrieved a bracelet, using his spirit energy to pry it and check. Feng, big brother Feng. An excited and nervous voice resounded. Luo Feng turned, looking at the flushed red face nervous and excited silver armored youth Na Ku. At this time the youth took a deep breath, his eyes barely containing his excitement and worship, Big Brother Foam, are you the legendary warrior who remains low profile and constantly roaming about the continent, Hermit? Hermit. Luo Foam was stunned, following which he nodded and smiled, I guess so. Na Ku was extremely excited, I heard that the hermits are low profile and powerful. They travel from world to world, constantly roaming, and their sights are extremely broad, having been to many mysterious places. Like the Blood Demon Ocean, Forbidden Mountains, Ancient God Ruins etc., have you been there? Luo Feng realized. The youth before him was worshipping him, asking if he had been to these places. However, just what were these places he was speaking of? He's been to the Dark Universe, Primal Universe Primal Chaos City, World Within a World, Absolute Beginning Secret Region, and even to the Virtual Universe Company's headquarters. However, the Blood Demon Ocean, Forbidden Mountains, Ancient God Ruins within Blood River World, he had never even heard of them. I haven't been there. Luo Feng smiled and shook his head. Maybe there'll be a chance in the future. Na Ku was extremely excited. I heard that the Blood Demon Ocean is 800 worlds away from us. Even the leader of a world city would take very long to get there. Luo Feng was shocked within. The distance wasn't far, however there was no flying ship technology in Blood River World. One could only fly himself. With the high gravity, how long would it take to fly 800 worlds away? The world distance of the aboriginals of Blood River Continent referred to the area territory of a world. Every world territory had a diameter of hundreds of millions of kilometer up to billions of kilometer. With such an area, even if one traveled 100,000 kilometers a day, it would still take 10,000 days to pass through one world. 800 worlds. How many years would that take? Luo Feng and Na Ku's team walked towards the distant and vast Swallow Mound City. He walked while checking the items left behind by the 13 axe. From the check, Luo Feng had some unexpected surprises. There's actually so much currency, the 13 axe are indeed wealthy. HM, with these, it will be much more convenient. Luo Feng wasn't too excited about the money. What he was truly excited for was, there's actually so many books. Most of them were training methods and so on, but there was a large amount of books with common knowledge and information about exploring the continent, similar to encyclopedias. The techniques and skills, Luo Feng couldn't even be bothered with. Having seen the time space scribbles thousands of techniques, Luo Feng could easily create skills that were better than these. It couldn't even compare. The training of Blood River World couldn't even compare in any way with humanity's sacred training land Primal Chaos City. Common Knowledge, Encyclopedias Luo Feng randomly picked one, and this book used a soft, but sturdy material. On it were three words. Blood River Crystal. Before, I was still worried about not knowing any information on the crystals. Yet, right now I have a book that explains in detail. Luo Feng was very happy. The money didn't mean much to him, he walked while using his spirit energy to scan the book and swiftly read through it and understanding the detailed information on the crystals. Blood River Crystals, the gems of the entire continent. It had incomparable mysterious energy. It was a treasure given to the continent by gods. Only the high and mighty undying shrines would occasionally give the worlds a blood river crystal. Other than these shrines, no other power or person could create the crystals, even to the point of where they came from or how they are created. Blood river crystals can be absorbed into the body, producing an incomparably mysterious effect. As to its mystery, these books could only guess, not publicly explaining its effects. However not everyone could absorb the crystals into their bodies, as it had high requirements on the warrior. Under normal circumstances, warriors who had massacred more would find it easier to absorb one crystal. The Blood River Crystal was something every warrior from the vast continent seeked. However, it was simply too valuable and rarely seen. 
In the vast continent, the Undying Shrines had set a rule, Domain Level, Domain Lord, Warriors, only after absorbing one Blood River Crystal will he have the right to dominate a territory. Normal Domain Levels have no right to become City Leader. World Level, Sector Lord, Warriors, they too have to absorb one crystal to have the right to dominate a world city. Blood River Crystals were rare and valuable. And absorbing them was even harder. Just one alone was difficult, absorbing two would have ten times the requirements on the body, three crystals would have a one thousand times the requirements. The further one goes, the harsher the requirements. There was a saying on the continent. A warrior, who has absorbed three blood river crystals, would have incomparable mysterious powers. Such a warrior would be named a blood warrior. And the blood warrior can go acquire the blood river medal from the world city, they were the pride of the continent. A warrior, who has absorbed ten blood river crystals, would be called a black warrior. He can go to the Undying Shrine to acquire the valuable Black River Medal. The legendary Blood Warrior, it took countless years to produce one. Black Warrior. It was purely a saying. No one even knew if there ever was a Black Warrior. In the last trillion years, maybe there wasn't even one. So it's like that. Luo Feng closed the book and filled with glee within. No wonder acquiring the Blood Warrior title gives 100,000 points. And acquiring one Blood River Crystal alone only gives 10,000 points. These two are obviously different in difficulty. He looked up. Ahead was the entrance of the ancient city that was 100 Jong tall. He had finally arrived at Swallow Mound City. As the center of a 10 million kilometer area, Swallow Mound City's walls were about 300 meter high. It was so long that one couldn't even see the end in sight. It was almost like an endless black mountain range. And the door of the city was close to 100 meter wide and 200 meter tall. A group of scaled armored fierce-looking soldiers stood there to collecting the entrance fee. Quick, pay up. You wish to enter without money. You must be looking to die. The group of intimidating soldiers carried either a large blade each, or huge axe, were yelling and shouting occasionally. With a glance, Luo Feng was able to determine that the aboriginals of Blood River World were indeed very strong. Even these soldiers were all Star Traveler 5 and up. If they were placed on Earth, any one of them would be considered to have a presence of a demon god. Of course, on Blood River World, they were only normal soldiers. Young Master N.A. Ku is here. Hurry and make way, let Master N.A. Ku enter the city. The intrepid soldiers were incredibly passionate, not even collecting the entrance fee from N.A. Ku and his team. However, that Thunder Uncle still smiled happily and brandished a black currency, for you and the brothers to have a drink. The leading soldier took it normally, becoming extra friendly. Wine, whether it was made through fruits or grains, consisted of millions of different types of drinks all under the same name. I wonder what the wine of Blood River World tastes like. Luo Feng revealed a smile. After entering the city, N.A. Ku said passionately, Big Brother Feng, I'm very familiar with this city. Why not stay at my house for a bit? After a bit of rest, I'll bring you around the city to take a look. Even though this city is huge, there isn't a place I don't know. Yes, Lord Feng. Beside, Thunder Uncle too was all smiles, and behind him the guards all looked on at Luo Feng, not making a sound. To be able to instantly kill the thirteen axe. What kind of person was he? In Swallow Mound, there were indeed quite a few powers capable of such a feat however, for one to single-handedly kill all them, such an absolute warrior was countable by one hand. No need, we'll part here. Luo Feng said. He had already finished reading the details of the Blood River Crystal. Hence, he had already formulated a plan on how to complete the mission. At the same time, Luo Feng didn't want to get too close to the N.A. family. After all, if he ended up staying with them, there would be trouble after. Part. N.A. Ku was stunned. Thunder Uncle's expression too was nervous, thinking, this absolute warrior is just leaving. N.A. Ku nodded, looking at Luo Feng, Big Brother Feng, if I wish to see you in the city, will I be able to? Luo Feng looked at the silver-armored youth before him, smiling, where's the best hotel in Swallow Mound? Flying Cloud Pavilion. The silver armored youth said. If you wish to find me, then go there. Luo Feng smiled. N.A. Ku nodded. Following which Luo Feng turned and walked into the long path that seemed to stretch on forever, his silhouette became a blur and in an instant he had gone far away. N.A. Ku, Thunder Uncle and the guards all watched the distant black armored mysterious warrior who was carrying a blade and shield. Thunder Uncle said excitedly, in my entire lifetime, this was probably the strongest warrior I've ever gotten close to. N.A. Ku nodded. Let's go young master, we'll go home. The tall and sturdy thunder uncle said. The matters of this Lord Feng, it's best that we tell the old master. Especially about the Yu family matters, we have to tell him too. I feel that it's probably no small matter. 
Go, return home. N.A. Ku brought his guards and swiftly rushed home. Swallow Mound was simply too huge, a city with an area of 1,000 kilometers, N.A. Ku and his group took close to an hour to get home. N.A. family, they were considered one of the higher merchant families in Swallow Mound. As Swallow Mound territory expanded over 10 million kilometers in area, compared to the diameter of Earth, which was only about 10,000 kilometers. Such a huge city, naturally resulted in the population being huge as well. Also, the number of family powers too was vast like the fish and shrimp in the ocean. N.A. family, U. family, they were considered the middle-level families. Organizations like the 13 Axe were the upper powers. N.A. family mansion. Dressed in a beautiful black robe, the silver-haired man's expression was stunned. He was shocked as he listened to his son N.A. Ku and Thunder Uncle's story. Extremely powerful, Dad. You didn't see, the leader of the 13 Axe killed that Yuang Ta like killing livestock, just one Axe strike and he died. However the 13 Axe against Big Brother Foam, didn't even have any resistance. I only saw 13 silhouettes and 13 blade flashes, the 13 Axe couldn't even react before they died. Yes old master, young master is speaking the truth. How, how can that be? The silver-haired middle-aged man Nabu calmed down after a while. To accomplish so much for the N.A. family business, he was careful and meticulous. This warrior, absolute warrior. Nabu looked on at his own son, where is he? We split after we entered the city. I invited him to stay here with us, but he didn't accept it. However, he said if we wish to see him we can go to Flying Cloud Pavilion. Enaku said, his eyes gleamed, Dad, let's go there now. No. Nabu frowned and said softly, this absolute warrior chose to separate it after entering the city. Obviously he doesn't want to get too close to us. You, you tell me the entire story of how you met him in detail again once more to me. Yes. N.A. Ku immediately began his story. The more he listened, the more Nabu's expression relaxed, finally he smiled. Father. N.A. Ku looked at his father. Ha ha, Keek, you are lucky. Nabu smiled. From what you've said, it seems this mysterious warrior Fong doesn't like to slaughter. If he can avoid it, he wouldn't kill others. And he doesn't like to get too close to anyone, however, he has a good impression of you. Otherwise, he wouldn't agree to let you go see him. N.A. Ku replied excitedly, then we should go now. No, Nabu shook his head, you just split, and now you want to rush over already. If you meet him right away, he wouldn't appreciate it. No rush, we'll wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll pay a visit to the warrior foam. All right, Lei Dong, accompany the young master back. Yes. The tall and sturdy thunder uncle brought Eneku and left, leaving only Nabu in the room. The silver-haired Nabu's eyes gleamed like that of an old fox. He said softly, Fong. You family. What exactly did the Yu family do to even arouse the thirteen acts to rob and kill them? Swallow Mound City. Luo Fong wasn't in a rush to head to the hotel. He first took a good walk about the city, finding a random place to eat and drink, and to listen to the customers and their conversations. This way, he was able to understand more about the affairs within the city. Blood River Continent didn't have a sun or moon. However, because of the movement of the 18 levels of clouds above, it made the continent shine and dim at different times, that became their day. One day on Blood River Continent was about Earth's seven days. In Swallow Mound City, Flying Cloud Pavilion was the most luxurious hotel. It had a diameter of 10 kilometers. This was bigger than some of Earth's county cities. Its interior was beautiful, and it could hold up to 500,000 guests. The crowd flowed in and out daily. With a large amount of people entering and leaving the country every day, the business here was very good. In the lobby of Flying Cloud Pavilion, there were 100 staff members stationed. Room. Luo Feng looked at the little young lady dressed in a black fur dress. We have the ground level, sky level, cloud level, which do you wish to stay in? As for price, the wall there shows it all. The lady smiled and replied. Cloud level. Luo Feng muttered. Cloud level room 2, daily rate of 3 large currency. The lady within smiled. Luo Feng reached and took out a purple currency and threw it on the table, the lady immediately grabbed it and began to work on Luo Feng's reservation. The currency of Blood River World was shaped like little blades. The currency denominations were split into little blade, red, called little currency, middle blade, black, middle currency, large blade, green, large currency, and above that the most expensive purple blade, called treasure currency. One middle currency was worth 1,000 little currency. One large currency was worth 1,000 middle currency. One treasure currency was worth 1,000 large currency. In the luxurious flying cloud pavilion, the most luxurious room was the cloud level, it required three large currencies a night, 
akin to three million little currencies. This was not a place normal people could live in. And Luofeng, having killed the thirteen acts, had acquired all of their wealth. This amount of wealth was much more than the NA family's and Yu family's fortune combined. This little bit of money didn't bother him at all. Lord, this way. A handsome youth dressed in staff attire respectfully led the way. Located in front of Luofeng was a three-story building with a flower garden and pond, outside its yard were the words cloud level. Not bad. Luofeng looked through it properly. After a satisfying nod, he sat in the living room chair and looked at the waiter before him. Whatever orders Lord has and whenever you wish to order them, please go ahead and call us. I'll be serving you for the days you stay in our flying cloud pavilion. The young waiter said respectfully. This is the first time I'm entering Swallow Mound City. I want you to tell me which places here are special, what big figures and powers there are. Luo Feng took out a jade green crystal blade currency. The more detailed your information is, and if I'm satisfied, the better your reward will be. The waiter looked at the jade green currency and his eyes gleamed, saying, I've lived in Swallow Mound City for over 200 years, and stayed in Flying Cloud Pavilion close to 100 years. I have heard much. The waiter immediately began to tell an endless depiction of everything. He was extremely excited, revealing all the big figures and important people there are in the city. He spoke for two whole hours before ending. He did not even take a breath in between. Luo Feng listened and nodded. Very well, you've spoken well. Luo Feng's voice seemed to have some magic, causing the waiter's eyes to seem lifeless and dazed. Here's some reward for you, leave now. The jade green currency landed in his hand. Only at this point did he awake from the daze. In his mind however, he couldn't remember anything about Luo Feng's questioning from before. One had to know, Luo Feng could already use the slave imprint skill. Hence, against this star traveler punk, it was as easy as sleeping. Thank you lord, thank you lord. The waiter grabbed the currency excitedly and left. Luo Feng closed his eyes. In his mind everything the waiter had said before flashed through. His understanding of Swallow Mound City was much clearer now. Pure Feather Family. Looks like, if anything, this Pure Feather Family would have the highest possibility of having a Blood River Crystal. Luo Feng muttered. The waiter's explanation was very detailed about the many families within Swallow Mound territory, the various organizations, sects and so on. These powers were split into different levels, super, high, mid, lower etc. NA family and U family, these were mid-level powers. The 13 acts was considered a high-level power. In the entire Swallow Mound territory, there were three superpowers. They were the Rockwind family, the Pure Feather family and the Hulei family. The Hulei family was a certain savage group, the Rockwind family was the city leader's family and the Pure Feather family was the number one business family. Blood River Crystals, they are extremely valuable. These three superpowers have the highest possibility of having them. Luo Feng sat there, tapping on the armrest. As for the highest possibility among these three, that would undoubtedly be the Rockwind family. The second would be the Pure Feather family. As for the Hulei family, they are simply too far away, there's no need to go there. A domain level, domain lord, needed to fuse with one blood river crystal to acquire the recognition of the undying shrine, gaining the right to become a city leader. Hence, the city leader would definitely have already fused with one crystal. And as the most powerful in the territory, he'd have the highest possibility of having another. If one was the city leader, having already fused with one crystal, one would definitely try and get another crystal to fuse with once again. However, he is a domain lord. And I'm only universe level 9. Of course, my domain is itself at level 9 and I am proficient in space and gold origin laws. I have confidence in killing a normal domain lord at level 2 or 3. What I'm afraid of is that his domain lord level 7 or 8. Luo Feng shook his head. Before finding out the exact details of his enemy, he thought it best not to mess with the city leader first. To be able to control Swallow Mound territory, that city leader wasn't good to mess with. The target then should be pure Feather family leader. Luo Feng squinted his eyes, gleaming coldly. Although the plan has been set, the pure Feather family was still one of the strongest families in the Swallow Mound territory. Within this family, there were many cloud levels, universe level, and even one domain level, domain lord, old man training. However, that was only from what the waiter had heard, whether it was true was still unknown. The second day, early in the morning, Luo Feng's spirit energy spread out through the space ripples. Through these ripples, he could feel the energy levels within 10 kilometers. Naku is here. Luo Feng opened his eyes. Naku, cloud level room 2. Luo Feng communicated. The Na father and son, after arriving at Flying Cloud Pavilion, were prepared to ask around as to where that mysterious Lord Feng was staying. 
Within Enaku's mind, a voice resounded, Enaku, Cloud Level Room 2. Father, Cloud Level Room 2. Enaku said softly. How do you know? Nabu looked shocked at his son. Weak brother Fong sent the message to me mentally. Enaku said. Nabu, who listened to this was utterly shocked. This mysterious Lord Fong was terrifying. Even without meeting them personally, and from such a distance, he already came to know that they were there. Let's go. Nabu and Enaku entered the Flying Cloud Pavilion. Even though the cloud level forbid others from entering, the Ena family was a regional tyrant family, others would easily help them. When the two of them arrived at Luo Feng's room, they saw the black armored man standing in the yard. Big Brother Feng. Enaku shouted. Nabu greets Lord Feng. Thank you for saving my son's life. A silver-haired Nabu bowed respectfully. Come in. Luo Feng smiled. In the living room. Luo Feng and Nabu both sat, Enaku stood by his father's side. Lord Feng, if it weren't for you yesterday, my son would have lost his life. Nabu exclaimed. Last night, the entire Yu family was uprooted. Yu family, they too are a family that's deeply rooted here, yet because of that one mistake their entire family business was destroyed. Yesterday, my son was almost dragged into it. Just thinking about it makes me afraid. Uprooted. Luo Feng frowned. I just got the most accurate news. Nabu exclaimed and shook his head. The Yu family actually had borrowed a huge sum of money, to get a set of armor from an ancient god ruin. They found the information about this by means of a secret channel. However, it was a pity that their team was destroyed yesterday. According to them, the armor was taken away too. The Yu family has no way to return such a huge sum, much less the interest. Hence, those that lent the money raged and killed the family and stole all their fortune. Even then, they were not satisfied. The ancient god ruins, what kind of place is that? Also, is a piece of armor that important? Luo Feng asked. Lord Feng doesn't know. Nabu was surprised. Big brother Feng, even I've heard of the ancient god ruins. Enaku smiled. I only know that's an ancient battlefield, a vast and huge battlefield. Luo Feng said, I'm only curious as to why an armor from that battlefield is so valuable. From the common knowledge books from the 13 Axe Space Rings, Luo Feng came to understand several special places within Blood River World. One of which was the ancient god ruins, it however had very little information. Ancient God Ruins, diameter 100 billion kilometers, vast and endless, ancient battlefield. The book didn't explain more. Nabu smiled, the ancient God Ruins, most people only know that it's an ancient battlefield. However, me being a businessman, through my special channels, I have come to know of several secret pieces of information. I believe that Lord Feng knows about the Outsiders. I do. Luo Feng nodded. The Outsiders are extremely strong and powerful. Nabu exclaimed. In theory, any cloud level warrior can fly out of the 18 levels of clouds, to outer space. However, any warrior that flies out through space would be killed by the outsiders living in the space. We have no way to enter space. However that's good too, as the outsiders find it hard to descend. Nabu smiled. I heard that every time they descend, they have to pay a huge price too. Luo Feng was shocked. A huge price. This happened very very long ago, in an ancient period. Nabu exclaimed, at that time, the strong in Blood River continent were like the clouds, much more than now. And at the time, the outsiders descended. The powerful warriors from the outsiders clashed, with the undying army from our side and the gods battled there. God battle. Luo Feng blinked. Our Blood River continent had heavy losses, as the ancient undyings all fell. However, even though the sacrifice was huge, we managed to chase the outsiders out. Nabu's eyes gleamed. After that battle, the outsiders never launched another huge invasion like before. And that huge battleground for the Undyings back then, became known as the Ancient God Ruins. Although it's extremely vast, it was indeed a broken piece of ruins. The youth N.A. Kubasite stood, his eyes gleaming. Large amounts of Undyings forming an army, and God armies fighting each other. This is incredibly shocking. Luo Feng smiled. Ancient God Ruins. Maybe large amounts of Undyings had indeed battled there. However, to say that the outsiders were defeated, that was a joke. Not including the other powers, just the virtual universe company's knights or universe country leaders, any one of them would be able to easily destroy the entire Blood River world. The ancient god ruins have a large amount of the special weapons and armors from the outsiders. Also, some of the armors from the fallen undyings, even if broken, are still very valuable. Nabu said. And the killing aura in the ruins is extremely heavy. 
A few warriors who have weaker consciousness that entered would get taken over by the killing aura and be driven completely mad. However, there are still many that enter the ancient god ruins looking for the treasures left behind by the undying. Also, people with strong killing auras absorb the blood river crystals easier. Hence, a lot of warriors do not care about the dangers within the ruins. Nabu exclaimed, anyway, the ancient god ruins is a terrifying place. It's a the place that entices the most, and a lot of the strong warriors from our continent flock there. Luo Feng frowned. Killing aura. Blood river crystal. From the book he read before, the more one slaughtered, the easier it was to absorb the crystals. And Nabu said so too, the stronger one's killing aura was, the easier it was to absorb the crystals. Hence, countless warriors flock there. So, slaughtering is to raise one's killing aura. Luo Feng thought. This blood river crystal, just what kind of treasure is it? Why is it so that the strong one's killing aura is, the easier it is to absorb? Ancient God Ruins. If I acquire a few crystals and I am not able to absorb them, I can go there to try it out. Luo Feng thought. The N.A. father and son's arrival made Luo Feng happy, because he came to know more information about the ancient god ruins. This was linked to whether or not he could become a blood warrior. Flying Cloud Pavilion, Luo Feng's place. Luo Feng entered the virtual universe. Even though he was currently on a mission, the training mission didn't conflict with his own study of the laws. Yu Xiong Mountain, Absolute Beginning Region, Wuka's Villa. Rong Jun, Luo Feng, I heard that you two have begun the training missions. Wuka looked at Luo Feng and Rong Jun, what level did you two choose? Difficult. Rong Jun said. Luo Feng you. Wuka looked at him, Rong Jun too looked over. Dangerous level. Luo Feng said. At that moment, both of them were shocked. Wuka stared wide-eyed, Luo Feng, it's your first mission and you chose dangerous. That's too risky. It is dangerous indeed. In fact, I have a small problem right now. Luo Feng was helpless. Although I'm doing the difficult level, I don't even dare to be careless. Madman, you really are crazy. Rong Jun smiled and shook his head. Even though a thread of his consciousness was in the virtual universe network, his actual self was in Blood River World's Swallow Mound City planning his mission against the Pure Feather family. Firstly, he had to know what the leader looked like. This way, he can confirm his target. Next, he had to be clear about the mansion in which they stayed in. No problem. Luo Feng shook his head. HM, I have to go. I'm doing something big today, I cannot be distracted. Good luck. Wuka said. Don't go losing your life to the mission. Rong Jun warned. Relax. Luo Feng shook his head and smiled, following which he vanished and left the virtual universe network. Blood River World, Swallow Mound City, Night. After six days of serious study and preparation, Luo Feng became a gust of wind and without a sound or trace left flying cloud pavilion. In an instant, he arrived at a luxurious mansion that took up 10 kilometers in area. This was a mansion which was second only to the city leaders. Pure Feather Family. The air shook, a silhouette appeared in mid-air outside the walls of the mansion. Of course it was Luo Feng. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.